everyone welcome back to another video we are back at the park again today is actually the last day that it's open until March for this park and boat ramp so in order to cruise this lake now we're gonna have to go up to the North Marina so which is a little bit further but if we have to in a deeper part of the lake because it's about 30 to 70 feet deep up there whereas down here it's like 10 to 20 maybe but yep everybody is gonna have to go up there now because this park is going to be closed unfortunately so today I just brought the kayak though because this morning it was about 60 something degrees and I did not want to go in the water when it was 60 something degrees. So we just brought out the little kayak. And so we're gonna launch the kayak now and do a little fishing and maybe just some exploring around the lake. We haven't gotten rain here in a little while, so it is down a little bit. Not as bad as it has been, but it is down. But let's go on the water. Alright, here we are, out on the lake now. I haven't really got to... Actually, the lake seems like it might be a little bit higher. I don't know. It's kind of weird, honestly. Because it's we haven't really gotten any rain. But it almost seems like it's higher because that boat, that straight ahead, that sunken boat, I don't know, maybe it's not any higher, I don't know. But this summer, that boat over there was completely exposed before we got those uh, nine, ten inches of rain, and it really filled up the lake, which was nice. But then we haven't gotten any, well, I can't say any, but we haven't gotten a lot more rain since then. So, but it's, the lake still seems to be pretty high, considering that this, before, was all didn't have any water in it at all. But yeah, today is the last day that that boat ramp is going to be open. It's closing for the season today. So, I just, it was 68 degrees, actually no, it was 58 degrees this morning when I woke up around seven o'clock and it really didn't warm up Ooh, it's still pretty shallow over here though good thing i got the kayak and right now it's about 75 degrees between 70 and 75 so it's a pretty nice pretty nice day now still a little cold this water is a little bit colder and to launch my boat I have to get in the water so I said nope we're not gonna do that today because this water is cold I don't feel like getting cold today so I said you know what we're just gonna take out the old kayak and I don't really like this kayak for fishing. It's a, what is this? This is a Pelican something or other. I'll have to look at it again. What is this? This is a Pelican, oh, I can't see. Oh, Mustang? Yeah, I think this is a Pelican Mustang. But it's got a couple of fishing rod holders in it, but I got it because it was really, really cheap. It was on sale for uh, 300 bucks. I 
yeah 300 bucks so i was like oh you know what that's a pretty good deal and it's got fishing rod holders on it there's fish over here yeah, there's fish so maybe we'll do a couple of casts out here see what happens see if we catch anything but yeah there's a couple of fishing rod holders on this thing but as far as equipment you can't really bring a lot i have a five gallon bucket I have a five gallon bucket back there behind me with stuff but that's about it and it's kind of a pain to turn around and grab it without actually getting out of the kayak and it's a sit-in kayak which i should have gotten a sit on top kayak but it's fine for now i mean it was only 300 bucks so i mean can't complain but i'm definitely going to be getting a different kayak a more fishing type kayak here within the next few months probably just because i'm gonna have to go up north now to launch my boat if i want to use this lake so i might as well get a little bit better kayak at the same time i'm also gonna buy a trailer i'm gonna buy one of those little harbor freight cheap 500 buck trailers just to launch my boat on because if i'm trying to launch it in december january it's gonna be cold in this water and i do not feel like getting in this water when the water temperature is 50 or 40 degrees so yeah that's gonna be coming too it's a little bit windy out here today oh well well i'm gonna do a couple casts and see how she goes all right well we did a couple of casts really didn't get any bites didn't feel anything over there but it is super shallow through here it's maybe a foot deep through this part so we're gonna kind of go to a little bit deeper area yeah because there's parts where i'm bottoming around i'm bottoming out on this kayak so maybe we'll go to a little bit deeper part of the lake so if we can catch anything over there in that area As you can see, there's a bunch of hidden tree stumps and everything under here. So when you have a boat through here, especially a fiberglass boat, you have to be really careful when coming in this part of the lake. Or you'll end up like that boat over there. in the kayak you have to be a little bit careful things will try to toss you out It is a beautiful day today though. Very nice. Fall is definitely here. Lake temperatures are cooling down so fish should start biting a lot better. Hopefully. Also, the nice thing about this part of the lake is there's not a lot of bigger boats. Oh, that was a nice fish. 
there's not a lot of bigger boats that come down here. So, let's see, let's go ahead and do a cast. So, let's see if we can get him. So being that there's not a lot of bigger boats, there's not a lot of traffic that you have to worry about. This wind it could be a little bit of a problem today though. It's fine, we'll make it work. there in the middle of this part, it's probably about six feet deep, but as you get closer to the bridge over there, down there, it's closer to 20 feet deep, and then on the other side of the bridge, over there, it gets up to 75 feet deep in certain areas, so this is the shallower bit of the lake so not very many boats come through here mostly just kayaks and small boats like I have which makes it nice fortunately the wind is picking up a little bit there was no wind this morning but that quickly changed I think we're gonna go over there to that little island. Yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of exploration on the lake and some, a little bit of fishing. I did bring my cast net. Oh, I, so my other cast net that I had got caught on a log and I couldn't get it back. So that net is done, but I bought a new cast net that I haven't tried out yet that I got to try out. Hopefully it's pretty good. We'll go over here to this little island. And try it out. I think. Fortunately, it's a little hard to throw a cast net from a kayak. At least this kayak. I guess you might could do it if you had a pretty stable sit on top. But not in this thing. I've already fallen out of this thing once. I want to do it again. I heard a cow. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you look straight ahead right now, there's a uh, model RC plane club over there, and they're uh, they got some RC plane flying over there. That's pretty cool. Hopefully the camera picks that up. That's what I was hearing, not a cow. That looks like fun. Maybe that's something I should look into. Wait a second. That's not the... That's not the island I was thinking of. Is it? I don't know. Let's go see. I don't think that's the island I was thinking of. Cuz 
there is an island out here. But maybe it's buried now. Because there are... Uh, this lake is higher than before because... Huh. Well, I'm gonna go over here and look and see if that is the island. I haven't been up this to this part in a little while. I usually go down the creek. So things are looking a little different than they normally do. Tiny bit. Let's see if there, actually, let's see if there's a better one on the other side. I think that's going to be probably our best bet, or we're going to have to go over there. like it all right oh wait maybe a little bit more shoreline on this side. Well, I guess that's about as close as we're getting. we go we got a brand new cast net but it won't stay that way for long so we're just gonna go ahead and throw out a couple of casts out here maybe get a little bit deeper water see what happens
picked up. Jeez. All right. This wind has really picked up. I've been wanting to go over here to this little, I believe it's over here, this little shallow cove. gonna go for it. It's gonna be a little bit bumpy ride. A little bit wet. to our little cove area here that I wanted to explore. Looks like there would probably be some good fishing over here. We're definitely going to have to come back and explore this a little bit more. Maybe with the boat. Or maybe if I get a little bit better kayak. We could explore it. A little bit more. It's actually a really neat kayak I want to get, but it's a little bit more than what I want to pay for it. It's I think close to two thousand dollars, but you can actually drop a trolling motor right in the middle of it. So it's like, oh, that's kind of cool. But, yeah, $2,000 is a little bit more than what I want to pay for a kayak. I have never been over here before, so this is all new to me. We are almost back to the dock, but I thought I'd just show you guys this boat. That was a pretty nice boat at one time. Unfortunately, now it is not such a nice boat. I got a nice hole in it, probably from one of these stumps. And the fiberglass is no more unfortunately that's what happens sometimes but it was a nice boat at one time and now we are headed back to the dock and the battery on this GoPro is about to die. So I'll see you guys at the dock. 
made it back to the boat ramp here just uh cleaned out my kayak a little bit and now i'm letting the water drain out of it i'm cleaning it a little bit and then we'll be headed home all right well we are back home now Got the kayak all up there i'm gonna have to clean up this garage because it is a mess there's the other boat right there but we're gonna have to get a trailer for that probably gonna get rid of that grill over there since I don't use it I got a new grill and then uh, all these boxes in here that are destroyed probably get some new boxes for them and clean this place up so when I do buy the new kayak I'll have a place to put it and the trailer as well well guys until the next one I'll catch you later